Hey, this is Matt once again. Welcome back to another review in my journey through the horror films of the 80s. I'm not sure how long this review will be because I have reviewed this film in the past. I completely forgot I did. It's called Christmas Evil. Now, Christmas Evil is a slasher film dealing with a Santa Claus wearing killer. But it's kind of weird they to call it a slasher film because it's more trying to be a psychological film in the vein of Taxi Driver as strange as that may seem I know that John Waters the director is a big fan of the film it's directed by a guy named Louis Jackson now I would say I like Silent Night Deadly Night part one and even part two more than this for entertainment value because those are more like actual slasher films and if you want like an actual Christmas slasher film, Silent Night, Dylan Night 1, it definitely is the the better compared to this one. And just a film I re-watch re over this more. But I do appreciate what the director is trying to do. I do think the lead guy did a fairly good job playing the character of Harry. Uh, the fact that they actually took time to build up the story. So while you don't agree with why he's doing it, you kind of understood a little bit. Brandon Maggert. That's how you say his name. Brandon Maggert. Maggart. As Harry Stadlin. Uh, he did a really good job. Or Stadlin. I'm not sure how to pronounce the name. Sorry. But. Brandon Maggard as Harry. When he was a kid, he saw his mother being sexually groped by his dad, who was dressed up as a Santa Claus. But of course, as a kid, he thought, well, that's Santa Claus. And so he like went upstairs and went a bit apeshit. And then years later, or maybe soon after that, was told that, yes, that was his father. But as an adult, he works at this toy store. And he's very, very, very... I don't know, what's the word to say? Rich in the consummation of Christmas. He's very gun-ho about Christmas. He, he loves Christmas too much where he's actually taking upon himself that he's going to be the next true Santa what Santa should really do so he'll like sleep in his costume he actually has a list and he'll watch people it's like naughty nice that that's on the nice list that's on the naughty list and it's his build of this character like he's getting the beard right and you'll find you know getting the outfit right I mean, sort of this taxi driver thing where you have an individual that he doesn't really like his environment and he's on edge and he's not, you're not thinking of him as an outright evil person, just a guy who is disturbed. And he steals toys from the place he works at and, you know, delivers toys to the good people. I think he delivers like dirt or something to the, the bad kids. And kind of by this point, you're like, is this, is this a horror film or is this sort of just a psychological drama? Because a good chunk, like two thirds of the film is pretty much that. But then he's taunted by some guys being assholes. And he gets like a little toy and he blinds one with it. I think it was like a, a toy soldier's like sword and stabs one person in the eye. And then fucks the other people up with this hatchet. And of course people see this and they form an angry mob, of course, to find this guy. 
And it's not really a big body count film. It's not like a big killing spree. But it is a... I think it's a well-made film. For example, there's one scene where it's out at night. This is after he's done his deed and people are looking for him. And he's in a Santa suit and he goes up this street. This very beautifully decorated... Just beautiful decorations left and right of all sorts of Christmas decorations of all sorts. And it just gives sort of a, a nice weird mood to it. And visually pleasing scene as well. Uh, Jeffrey DeMunn, who's a good character actor, he was in The Hitcher with Roger Hauer and C. Thomas Howell. He was in the Blob remake from 1988. I believe he was in Warning Sign. That's another underrated film. Uh, he plays the main character's brother who knows that his brother is off his rocker and doesn't really want much to do with him. And then by the end of the film, it definitely has one of the more weird endings <laughs> where he's in his van, which he's made look to he's made the van look kind of like a sl a sleigh that Santa would drive and he drives out the bridge and we the viewers see the van flying off to the sky as his voiceover is saying the end of the night before Christmas you two all a good night and for a split second, you're thinking, what the fuck? Like, did he really be, does his thought process that he wanted to be the real Santa so badly that he became the real Santa? Did he just become the real Santa? Or you take those two seconds and go, oh, it's, this guy was such a delusional state of mind that although he's going off the bridge to his death, he pictures himself flying off before he dies. So in his mind, he's going up here to dilute his mind that he's really going here. And I don't know, he probably gets to a point while the van blows up and he dies or whatever. But I wonder if there's anyone that actually thinks that he became the real Santa. I wonder if anyone actually does think that. I would say that'd be a hell of a twist for a movie. But I, I think it's more... Oh, this guy is a, in a delusional state of mind. That he literally pictures himself doing that. But... I don't remember the commentary. That, that would be funny if... The, the, it actually was... Oh yeah, he became the real Santa. You be what the fuck? That's the most insane ending ever. But it's definitely the ending that they, you know, one pause. So I mean, that's definitely a, an interesting way to end it. Like I said, the lead guy does a good job. The movie does take its time developing the character. It's a well-made a well shot film photography wise direction wise and it's not the most exciting film it's definitely not a blood and guts movie or a body count movie but if you want to see this would make an interesting double bill with Silent Night Deadly Night which I have reviewed those films. I've reviewed all the Silent Night, Deadly Night films. One through five. Uh, the first two being the ones I only liked. Three, four, and five I, I hated. Like Christmas Evil is definitely better than those pieces of shit. But this would be an interesting double feature with this and Silent Night, Deadly Night. Because they're, they're both horror films that take place on Christmas. And someone's dressed up as Santa. But both do it very different ways. I mean, even Silent Night Deadly Night does do a build-up of the character. But Silent Night Deadly Night, you definitely get more of the 
satisfaction of the body count and the visceral thrills while this again is still trying to maintain that psychological taxi driver type of I guess mental breakdown of this lead character this best way to put it but Christmas Evil is definitely an interesting flick that uh, if you want to see something a little bit outside the norm uh, not a bad movie not a bad movie at all be the way thanks for watching take care and we will see you in the next video later